a lot of girls think, who am I going to kiss at midnight? Who is going to be my midnight kiss? Who am I going to spend the next year with? Or am I just going to hoe myself to the grave? I would say cuffing season starts officially on Thanksgiving, okay? We are going to officially rename Thanksgiving as the start of cuffing season, right? What is cuffing season? Cuffing season means that this is the time where girls seek out boyfriends for relationship stuff, right? Sometimes they last. Most times they don't, right? She is starting to feel like, oh, my God, I'm getting pumped and dumped all the time. And holidays, let's be honest, guys. If you got people around you that love you, you got hoes that love you, right? You got family that loves you. You got a main girl that loves you and all your side that love you, too. Good morning, hologram. Holidays are a great time, man. Listen, you get you get gifts from all your girls you get gifts from your family members you get gifts from your friends if you have good friends if you have friends that don't give you gifts around the holidays lose those bums right and if you're not giving gifts on the holidays too you might want to consider you know tactically thinking about how you're presenting yourself on a business standpoint as well um i get gifts from people on holidays and the people around me get me gifts too and This is a joyous time for people to have love in their life. But if you're like a miserable person, you don't have your life together, or you're like a hoe and you're just like, you know, running around treating every man you meet like stuff like that, the holidays are the worst time of the year. What's the big, one of the biggest red flags I see is like when somebody tells me, like, oh, I hate holiday season. Like, okay, that person's either fed up or they need some love, but probably a combination of both if they're saying they hate the holiday season. I love the holiday season. All right, let me tell you something. So cuffing season, it makes girls get lonely, right? And the girls get progressively more, progressively lonelier and lonelier and lonelier and lonelier as cuffing season moves forward. So Thanksgiving is round one, right? Mom and dad at the house, right? Luckily, if mom and dad are together. And they're like, hey, little, little Julie, Julie, why are you still hoeing around? And why do you not have a man? Why can't you keep a man? Why can't you give us grandchildren? What is going on, right? Julie goes home. She has a little, little. She has a little moment to herself. She realized of all the, the dicks of of Christmas past behind her, haunting her. She's like, no, no, those dicks are haunting me, right? <laughs> she has a little couple nightmares, and she wakes up. She's like, this. oh, shit. I gotta get, I gotta lock down a man. I don't care. I'll take any man, right? And then she starts swiping on, Tinder, on Bumble. She, some of them are, some of the girls that are a little bit more conniving, they're like saying, you know, that, um, she, she will, um, (laughs) she's just looking for a boyfriend to fake her parents out, right? She's like, oh, I'm just looking for a boyfriend to trick my parents that I have a, um, a boyfriend for holiday photos because they're starting to see this too, right? They're starting to see. All their girlfriends that are not hoes, right? Because there are girls out there that are not hoes. A few of them, but like seven. But um, they're out there, and they're seeing like, oh, my God, she's pregnant. Oh, my God, they got married. Oh, my God, they're they're in Hawaii. Look at this. Oh, my God, how that, that guy's so good looking. He has a f-ing great website, modernlifedating.com. Why is she with him? Oh, my God. Oh. Right? And then she starts going into full panic mode. So... The first burst that you guys are going to get is from this Thursday, okay, until Christmas. Typically Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve service in, you know, in America is pretty big. You got to dress up. You got to take care of all the holiday meetups, you know, the church events, whatever, all right? So during this this time, she's gonna. There are gonna be a lot of panicking girls out there, right? There are gonna be girls in the bars. Girls are gonna be nicer, okay? They're gonna be a little bit more, um, a little bit more down to earth, a little bit less full of themselves, right? So this is gonna be the first like mad dash, right? And the second one is a quick one, but it's a small window, but it works, right? And 
it is from the day after Christmas, December 26th, right, when Body Language Mastery launches, to the end of the year, which is New Year's Eve. Because in America, a lot of girls think, who am I going to kiss at midnight? Who is going to be my midnight kiss? Who am I going to spend the next year with? Or am I just going to hoe myself to the grave, right? <laughs> You'll notice um, girls are more friendly at Christmas parties. There's going to be a lot of Christmas party hooking up, all right? There's going to be a lot of holiday, ugly Christmas party sweaters, meetups, bar crawls, whatever, that are going to be, you know, filled with people that are, you know, girls that are looking for someone to spend the holidays with, man. Everywhere you turn, you know, you turn, even even the greatest Christmas movie of all time. Does anybody know the greatest the, the greatest Christmas movie of all time is? I know what it is, but even the greatest Christmas movie of all time has some romance in it, and most good Christmas movies do. The third one is – it's – it's pretty it, it's pretty important too cuz it goes from the beginning of the new year to Valentine's Day right and in Japan it's a little bit longer in Japan it goes to the the March the 14th which is white day cuz in Japan in Valentine's Day women give chocolates to the men they like and then on white day the men Give chocolate back to the women they like. Okay? So that's how it works out here. So it's a little extended for me over here in Japan. So, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll pour one out for you homies out there. But Valentine's Day is, is the next big push, right? So from now, this upcoming Thursday, Thanksgiving, right? To Valentine's Day, you're going to have four months where you can actually practice getting better with women, right? Where it's going to be a little bit easier. And women are going to have their guards a little bit down. Their shield is going to be a little bit lower, okay? It's going to be a big, big, big difference. So how do you prepare for cuffing season? So you need to make sure, first of all, that you're on every – uh, as many dating apps as possible, right? I recommend at least five. Remember, Tinder is pretty much burned out. Tinder, Bumble, those are everybody's thing is that they're just on Bumble and Tinder. It's not enough. Okay, you need to be on like Hinge, OkCupid, okay uh, Seeking. If you're making one hundred fifty thousand dollars a year or more, right? Um, a Seeking arrangement, and then you'd run Salt Daddy game, and then you got to be on. Uh, did I say Hinge? And then also Badu. Um, okay, Cupid, Match.com. If you want to get ser super serious, plenty of fish, it, and you know, I'm not saying that every one of these is a gold mine, but you need to be sourcing from multiple angles. Also, you need to be attending holiday parties, right? You got to be trying to be as festive as possible, and like going to as many holiday events. If your friends invite you to a holiday party or a Christmas party, like go. You like don't don't turn down these opportunities. Get out there and um, make. You know, make the effort to get out there and make a change, right, in your life. Get out there, be network, socialize. Uh, chances are, if you're watching me and you're part of the like, Red Pill community, and then also you're going out and like doing game and stuff, chances are you have above average knowledge about dating and game than the typical person, and you'll have a lot better uh, results as well. So go out there and take what's yours, right? Another thing is this too. You'll be noticing about. With cuffing season here, right? You'll be noticing that um, you're gonna get a lot more girls that are gonna when you're out there. They're more likely gonna say yes and commit to you quicker and commit to doing things quicker than uh, than normal, right? Like for you guys, um, like for you guys that are like living in in the United States, right? There is so many things you can do now that is very relationship oriented, right? So you can do – like, for example, they have this at the Gaylord Palms in um, in Orlando area. This thing here is called, like, ice, right? So you go through, like, these giant ice sculptures. You can see all of, like, the, these things are all hugely carved from ice. It's called ice, you know. 
solid date. When was the last time a chick has gone through something like this, let alone a chick that lives in Florida, right? Mm. And then you go through and you have like a little bit of a memory, you know, and then uh, this is all so freezing cold, right? So what do you do after? Does anybody know? Uh, yes, there you go. I'm the nine. Coffee and smash. That's it right there. Listen, this is what you have to do. You got to – you have to make them feel – you have to – this is the time of the year that, you know, if the girl is – you got. This is the time of year you could be a little bit more romantic on your dates, and I'm not saying like show up with a bouquet of flowers, but just be a little warmer. You know what I mean? And then you go, Hashim. Now Hashim gets it. Yes, hot chocolate, coffee. Right? Go get some near. There's usually a Starbucks near, or a, a Starbucks um, within the area. Right? It's America for Christ's sake. And then you go have a coffee, you chat, and you have a good time. And the whole time, you're spending time with her. It's just like the initial Starbucks day, right? You get in there, and you talk about her life, talk about what's going on, where you're from, blah, blah, blah. You know, take when you guys are doing the ice sculpture stuff, you know, if you want to take a picture together, that's fine. I don't know. Every, every one of these chicks are so caught up in their – um, social media presence that they may some might be you know like sketched out if you want to take a picture so I'll take a picture of her however take one of you but yeah let's take one together whatever right and um, you know have a good time make sure you're, you're touching you're not like you know you're getting a little physical with her right touching her hand touching her, her arm lower back right and um, from there you go from the event to have a coffee talk a little bit longer and then, you know, if you have to say your goodbyes in the parking lot, go out to the parking lot, you know, lay, lay a kiss on her, let her know what's up. And um, if you want to make it be like, hey, let's just go back and like, you know, make sure on the date you're talking about something that you can anchor her back to you, your area with. And then you say, yeah, let's go check out XYZ, what I talked about earlier. And if she likes you, she's going to say yes. If she doesn't like you as much, she's going to say no. Okay. And then... From there, you make the move. Go back to your place or no, just go for the kiss. If she kisses you, then you know you know there is some level of interest there. If she doesn't let you kiss her, then you know you know you have a little bit of work to do. Maybe she's not ready or maybe she's not interested, but you have to just take it like it is. And then um, from there, you make the move. And that is uh, everything that you need to do in regards to just going out and getting a date in cuffing season.